Hey guys, it's Ty's Tag back with a video. Um, sorry about me doing this by myself. My cameraman is currently asleep, so that sucks. But as you can tell, we have a package, and I only ordered like two things, and one of them's tiny, one of them's huge, so I'm pretty sure what this is. But I hope that this is a motherboard. Um, the dumb thing is, I, I the seller said this wasn't going to come with a backplate, like for the CPU cooler, meaning. I'm going to have to wait till the night because my friend 3D printed me a um, backplate, but it isn't going to arrive. It hasn't arrived yet because for some reason they did the package and the regular mail separately, even though it's the same carrier. Anyway, so I got to hope that that comes tonight so that I can actually use this. Um, but yeah, let's get this open. If I can do that with one hand, I have a little tool here that is not actually that sharp, but better than my fingernails. Okay. I think this should come with an IO plate or IO shield depending on what you call it because the seller said it would. But I doubt it's coming with a back plate because the seller said it wouldn't. So actually I'm probably just going to cut to when I have this open. So that open. I hope this seller packaged as well because motherboards are very fragile. We have styrofoam, my absolute favorite. Count that as a W. We have some random box thingy. I'm not sure what that is. Um, we have some more foam. Again, my favorite. I love it when it makes that creaky, squeaky noise. So this is actually, I don't know what the heck this is for, but I might find that useful. Maybe just to annoy my brother. And we have um, an empty box. So set that aside, make sure nothing fell out on the floor. And we shall look at whatever the heck this is. It says it's an ROG Strix B550 um, gaming Wi-Fi, but I know that's not it because this is a B450. Um, they used the wrong box. But either way, there's at least a motherboard um, and some protective stuffs. Um, so yeah, I will get back to you when I get my backplate. In the meantime, I will be sad and cry. Okay, I guess before I get my backplate, I can go ahead and show y'all. Um, I can't really preview what this looks like, so tell me in the comments if it looks horrible. But here is the motherboard. It's a full ATX board. Let me just take it out of the protective anti-static bag. I'm trying to be as careful as possible with this. And I'll set it on the cardboard box. And here we have the board. Looks good. Not sure if you can see it all the way, but it looks good. AM4 socket. Um, oh wow, it smells really weird. Um, we have four slots for DDR4 memory. We have tons of PCIe. Um, we also have M.2 slot for M.2. Speaking of which, that should come Tuesday-ish. And for reference, I'm recording right now on a um, Thursday. So, tons of SATA ports. Goodness gracious. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, it does not have a backplate, so I will be waiting for that to come, and yeah, I'll finish recording once that happens. Alright, um, we're back. As you can see, I got a few things in the mail, including the backplate that I need for the motherboard, and this little M.2 drive. I don't know why I'm having the camera angle like this. This is impossible. I'm going to change it, because there's no way I can see anything like this, so I'll be right back. Um, so guys, I might have an issue. The 3D printed thing that my friend sent me actually broke in the mail, meaning that two of the posts work. If I try to screw this into the motherboard, it'll definitely kill my CPU. So what I resorted to is I got four of these little pieces, and I'm going to push them up through the back of the motherboard because they screw into the stock thing pretty well. But the problem is they're too thick. So what I have to do is I have my sander over there. I'm Okay, it's not actually mine. I'm just borrowing my dad's drill and using it as a sander, sander to kind of sand the outside of this thing so it'll poke up through the motherboard and fit those holes. Um, so yeah, stay tuned when I finish all four of these. This looks like it might work. I'm a little nervous, but also very excited because this might work. All right, guys. 
I don't have much hope of this posting, but let's try it. First, we gotta plug in our cable right there. Okay, CPU fan is spinning. Can't tell the GPU fan is spinning. RGB, RGB, waiting on the screen. But, just keep waiting. We shall see. Oh, dang it, I put the GPU in the wrong PCIe slot. I bet that's it. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, let's, let's let's redo that. Let me just give it a second. Unplug this bad boy. Unplug the HDMI. Oh, don't fall back down. Dang it. Ah, whatever. I can get that bit later. Unclip that. Slot out that. Move that cord out of the way. I'm going to do some cable management. They're probably going to roast me in the comments for not using a PCIe bracket. I mean, a... Uh, um, a bracket for the GPU, but the problem is I don't have one and it doesn't need one because it's super duper light. Let me go get that cable and I'll try this again. Just keep waiting. Hopefully it works and I didn't blow up the computer. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We have a logo. Let's see if we can get to BIOS. Come on, you got it, baby, you got it. Let's do this, let's do this. Come on, come on, come on. I worked so hard and long on this. No signal, dang it. Oh, because I didn't press anything. Okay, let me hook up a keyboard and mouse and try this again. Alrighty, guys, so PC is up and running. It's highly, the fans are at 100% because it's actually still in PWM mode on BIOS. I'm gonna change that in a second, um, but I'm downloading Windows 11 so I can install it onto a USB drive up there and I will get Windows 11 aka Atlas OS running on this on the NVMe because currently it's running off that 2.5 inch SATA SSD which is not ideal um and yeah it will be done so this is going to be totally awesome I tried out BeamNG drive and I honestly noticed a imp performance increase because the BeamNG drive is a very heavy CPU and so once I got a way beefier CPU the GPU can stretch its arms a little bit more, even though its arms are very short, because it's a 750 Ti, it can still stretch its arms a bit more, so I was getting, instead of 60, I was getting 85 FPS, meaning I could go up a notch from, get this, it's gonna sound hilarious to you guys with like 3070s and stuff, but I could go from the lowest preset in graphics to low preset in graphics, which, I don't know if that even changes anything visually, it didn't seem like it, but anyway, I get more FPS, um, <laughs> just a tad bit. Um, but yeah, the main performance increase is going to come when I actually buy a new GPU, which is currently I'm leaning towards the GTX 1080 Ti, um, because that performs between a 3060 and a 3050, and a little bit worse than a 5700 XT, which is what I was originally going to get, but it's about the same price. Um, anyway, that's what I'm going for. Also, ignore that the RAM looks nothing like the rest of the PC RGB. I haven't set that up yet. Anyway, I'm excited. Currently downloading Windows 11, and I'll give another update once I've actually finished this. So, see you in a bit. All right, guys, I finally finished. The computer looks spectacular. Um, my setup looks awesome. I am so excited. Honestly, there's not too much of a performance boost. Um, it's mainly aesthetics, but I definitely can actually notice the speed increase from an SSD to an NVMe, and my CPU does help a lot in games like BeamNG Drive and such. So it's not like I there's nothing. It's just very minimal. Once I get my... 1080 Ti, it will definitely be the finished product. Also, I love how the fans are reflected in the um, window, so it looks really cool. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll get this video uploaded soon. Um, this was kind of a pain. I had a lot of trouble shooting, shooting issues. Tell me in the comments if you want to know what those were and how my experience with that was. <laughs> pain and suffering. Anyway, um, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe, and tell me what you thought in the comments below.